Hello, my name is Amy Wilson and I am going to talk to you today about my books and about the Fae characters who are so important to me and to my books as well. So my first book um, is called A Girl Called Owl and that came out in 2017. And then my latest book, which is out in October, is called Owl and the Lost Boy and it's a sequel to A Girl Called Owl. So there's lots of familiar characters in there and lots of lovely fae characters who I really enjoy writing because they're a bit fierce and very magical and very wonderful and I can imagine them. I can imagine how they might be, how they might speak and what kinds of things might go on in the world all around us that we don't notice. Um, so I thought I'd do a little reading for you from Owl and the Lost Boy. And this is all about fables and earth spirits. Few are as powerful in the world of men as the elements who rule the seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter, none would happen without them. And often that is the risk, for they fight like warriors to hold their ground. The Queen of May is springtime. She comes with all her new life and steps on the coattails of winter, only yielding to summer when that season can no longer be denied. Summer herself, the Lady Midday, must then do battle with the Earl of October, who stalks across the ground, his low song bringing autumn's amber and gold, tucking all things away before Jack Frost, mischievous king of winter, is released from his world of ice and snow. Each would rule for years, even longer if they could, and it is only the might of Mother Earth herself that keeps them in order. One cannot happen without the other, and they must each come at their own time. For sure, there are days of summer that burst bright into Jack Frost's winter time, and days of frost that linger long into spring. But those are the exceptions, not the rule. The rule is Mother Earth's, and the only threat to her order is Father Time himself. So there's a few clues there about what might happen in Owl and the Lost Boy, where Owl has to find her friend Alberic, who is the son of the Earl of October, who is Autumn. And so essentially we start the book and Lady Midday is clinging on to summer, this eternal summer, which is quite difficult for the whole world, and especially for Owl, being the daughter of Jack Frost. So she needs to find Alberic, she needs to find the Earl of October, and she needs to bring them back so that autumn can happen and winter can happen. And to do that, she needs to travel to the land of time. And who knows what she'll find there? Well, I know. And if you read this book, you'll know. I hope you enjoy it. If you get a chance to have a look, take care. Bye.